we've come together on this now fair Sunday afternoon to celebrate a relationship between two persons, between Robin and Ron. At this moment, we share in their joy and happiness as they share with us significant meanings, but adding a new dimension to a process which started when they first met and which will perpetuate into the future. And although this is a civil ceremony, it is involving a love between two people and therefore it is spiritual. So I will begin with what I think is a very beautiful definition of love. Love abides in constancy, is kind and patient. Love never envies nor rolls over with jealousy. Love makes no parade, is not selfish nor easily provoked to unbecoming acts. Love does not insist on its own rights nor its own way for it is not self-seeking. It does not rejoice at injustice, but rejoices when right and truth prevail. Love knows how to be silent. It bears up under everything that comes and is ever ready to believe the best of every person. It is truthful, hopeful, consistent. Love is the essence of life. And it is this love that we are gathered here together in the presence of all of you as witnesses to join together this man Ron and this woman Robin in legal matrimony which is an honorable estate and is not by any to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly but discreetly soberly and respectfully and now these two persons have come into this legal estate to be joined now I'm supposed to ask if anyone knows any reason why you cannot be joined and that happens only in Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> I will omit that question entirely. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Ron, will you have Robin to be your wedded wife, to live together in the legal estate of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep only unto her so long as you both shall live. I do, I will. I will. I will. The future <laughs> promise. Okay. <laughs> okay. Robin, will you have uh, Ron to be your wedded husband, to live together in the legal estate of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep only unto him so long as you both shall live? I will and I do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, this is the most difficult part of the ceremony. Bridegroom, Ron, with your right hand, take Robin's right hand. And repeat after me. I, Ron. I, Ron. Take you, Robin. Take you, Robin. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For rich or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Robin, repeat after me. I, Robin. I, Robin. Take you, Ron. Take you, Ron. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Ron, place your ring upon Robin's finger as a symbol of your wedlock and repeat after me, with this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. Okay. I'm a little nervous, Sadie. Robin, place your ring upon Ron's finger as a symbol of your wedlock and repeat after me, with this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. For as much as Ron and Robin have consented together in legal wedlock and have given and pledged their faith each to the other and have further symbolized their union 
by giving and receiving rings and by joining hands, all in the presence of this company, I, under the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, do pronounce them husband and wife, whom the law hath thus joined together that no person put asunder. I'd like to conclude this ceremony with a very beautiful brief poem that was always recited at the end of the Apache Indian wedding ceremony. And it's appropriate, as you'll see from the first line. Now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be shelter to the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warmth to each other. Now there is no more loneliness, for each of you will be companion to the other. Now you are two bodies, but there is only one life before you. Go now to your dwelling place to enter into the days of togetherness, and may your days be good and long upon this earth. Congratulations, and you may kiss the bride. Thank you. Thank you.